so welcome back tech interest uh, so today we are starting with the topic of sfr that is special function registers uh, in the first lecture only i have told you what are exactly the sfrs are uh, sfrs are basically uh, the 8 bit registers uh, which are inbuilt or in the default in built in its processor only uh, processor of 8051 uh, it is not present in internal ram or internal rom it is a integrated part of the uh, processor itself okay uh, for a sort of thing because i get personally confused that sfrs are the something that registers that are present in internal ram only but that's not a point i have clearly explained you in the first video i think so uh, first or second video so let's jump up to the topic uh, today we are dealing with the sfr that is special function registers uh, you can clearly see here sfrs uh, so the 8051 has 21 8 bit sfrs uh, so why the 21 number has been derived uh, i don't know why but uh, Actually, there are they they are twenty one registers, but they are not actually twenty one because many of the SFRs are uh, bit addressable. Uh, already tell the defin double the definition of what are exactly mean by bit addressable. Uh, bit addressable meaning some the registers uh, which can be addressed bit wise without disturbing other bits of the same register. So okay, uh, you can uh, if you are watching from the starting, uh, you can now clearly understand what I am talking about. Okay, uh, so there are twenty one SFRs which are eight eight bit SFRs. why they are called sfr they are because they are they are produced for or they are invented or discovered for only special functions okay not they discovered they are invented for only special functions uh, some sfrs only do only help for timers some sfrs only used for counting uh, yeah timer and counters are two both different actually they are the same but it depends upon the perspective of the person that are using okay uh it's used for the timers it's used for the counters it is used for the interrupts it's used for the serial uh, serial uh, input output and it also used for the uh, normal input output ports that uh, we deals with when we have to attach some speaker or some devices outside the uh, to the our microcontroller okay uh, so that time also sfrs are used sfrs are specially function register because they are not such that general purpose they we cannot use for any purpose they are specifically designed for specific functions okay Uh, so let's come up to the topic so here you can see the list of uh, four uh, yeah the list of 21 sfrs uh, you can clearly see it uh, starting from uh, not starting from uh, uh, for an take a note uh, take a screenshot of this table uh, we will come back to the table just uh, first uh, let's it's more understand about sfrs okay uh, you can clearly see it on the screen uh, each F sfr has its own special functions i have already told you okay they are placed inside the microcontroller yeah they are used by the programmer to perform special functions like controlling the timers i have already told as sfrs are available to programmer we will use them in instruction yeah yeah if anything available to us uh, we especially i don't know about all other people around the world uh, around the globe uh, but we indians uh, whatever we get uh, whatever we get free from any mobile or anything uh, suppose uh, in mobile some some feature is there that we don't know how to use that but as it is given we are eagerly or we are urge indians uh, indians has that urge that it is free and we have to use that we don't know how to use it and how to benefit from it okay then also we use it because it is a free that that at that per at that score related that as sfrs are available to the programmer so they will use it okay. as they will use it uh, the number of opcodes will be increases so what is the exactly meaning of opcodes uh, i will explain you in a further topic when uh, i will deal with uh, some interrupts uh, because opcodes are Related. Okay. So to reduce the number of opcodes, SFRs are allotted with the addresses. So what are the addresses? As SFRs are eight bit registers, uh, so we can give them eight bit addresses. But uh, you might be thinking, eight bit address means two raised to power eight. Two raised to power eight means two fifty six locations. Okay. But coincidentally, okay. Coincidentally, I'm not using this word, but coincidentally, uh, the internal RAM has addresses up to zero to one twenty eight locations. Okay. internal ram has 128 locations coincidentally uh, starting from 00 uh, to ending up to uh, 7f h okay you can clear this thing starting from 00 to 7f h uh, so remaining 80h to ff and h that is remaining 128 bytes remaining 128 location are allotted to sfrs uh, so this this does not build this is not coincidentally okay uh, this is not basically coincidence the design or the scientists have keep their kept in their mind that Uh, yeah this should be designed like that so that we can utilize maximum of our space and uh, mag minimize the number of of codes so how the brainy are they at that time they are so much brainy okay uh, since as far as i allotted addresses from 8h to ffh so uh, some of the, some of people might be thinking uh, when we are studied the internal ram that 
yeah the 8 bit addresses can be the uh, pnc if you apply permutation and combination if you have eight, uh, you are assigning 8 bit number to any location it can be 2 raised to power 8 combinations okay 2 raised to power 8 means 256 combination means you can assign 256 location to 256 unique addresses to each location okay so uh, if we have given only 128 addresses, uh, 128 location in RAM, then what is the purpose of 128 other that are assigned to the SFR? Okay. It is not coincidence that these addresses are free. It is how 8051 design was planned. The internal RAM was restricted to 128 bytes instead of 256 bytes. So that these addresses are free for SFRs. Okay. Moreover, some SFRs are bit addressable, like port 0. Okay. Uh, port, 0 are, uh, port 0 are bit addressable, but port 1 doesn't. Okay. Port 0 are bit addressable. Uh, see. What does mean? Uh, what does mean by bit addressable? Uh, it it means that starting uh, if you assign one to p zero point zero, it will not affect p zero point one two three four five six up to seven. Okay, by instruction uh, like set p and clear etc. Okay, all uh, specifically through the definition theoretically all eight bits can be individual access from p zero point zero to p zero point seven by instruction like set p and clear etc. But again, this will again in, uh, tremendously increase the number of opcodes, uh, which tremendously uh, subsequently increases the number of space required for that opcodes. Uh, for that, we also assign address to them because SFRs are, there are SFRs like ports 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 3, 3, 0, 1, 2, 3. Uh, there are four ports in 8051 that are bit addressable. So we have to assign address to them to each bit. Uh, coincidentally, again, uh, the bit addressable area, area in uh, internal RAM that is. Uh, uh, that is, uh, I think, of 16 bytes. Uh, yeah, that uh, that is of 16 bytes. Uh, that area is assigning uh, assigned address of 128 only. Yeah, that that also goes from uh, 000h to 77 fh Again, 128 bits. Okay, remaining 128 bits addresses are assigned to the yeah SFR's bit addressable area. Yeah. So this is the this is the logic or logic or build when they started to build or they plan the architecture of 801. They have kept their in mind. Okay. Uh, so uh, nowadays we don't do anything just like that okay we just kept started th uh, doing something and just we come to some conclusion because we we don't have plans of uh, what we will do in future or what what else we can uh, we have plan b or we don't have plan b okay that's another topic some people think that you should not have plan b uh, because if you have plan b then you will not focus upon plan a but that's not a uh, that's not a good thing in my view okay i'm not uh, okay that's not a point okay so bit addresses APH to FFH are allotted to the bits of various SFRs. Okay, I have already told you. Port 0, a byte address of ATH and its bit addresses are from ATH to 87H. Port 0, byte address. Uh, okay, wait, I will tell you. This is a port 0. Okay. Uh, here, as star means, means whenever there are a star, or art, uh, you can see here, whenever there are star represented above the, uh, at the index, uh, uh, so it means that uh, that SFRs are bit addressable. See? Uh, this a star means a is also bit addressable this is also bit addressable this is also bit addressable port 0 to port 3 is also bit addressable uh ascon is also bit addressable tcon is also bit addressable these are the serial in port uh, sfr these are uh, come across for uh, timer and counters okay and this is the interrupt this is also uh and bit addressable okay so port 0 has an address ath okay but but p 0.0 0, means 0, p port 0 0 ka 0 bit yeah port 0 ka 0 bit has also an address of ath port 0 also has address of ath but uska jo port 0 ka 0 bit hai, uh, as we started from counting from 0 in te technical language uh, so uh, port 0 ka 0 bit is also an ath as address of that bit is also an ath and port 0 ka address is also an ath uh, so there there are no misconception or uh, there are not misunderstanding of processor because that this that it is not a human uh, like me humans generally misunderstand uh, between and uh, creates and creates an environment that is not uh, good for uh, any type of relation okay? so they do not misunderstand processor does not misunderstand uh, for that they have separate uh, syntax of instruction okay uh, for uh, especially for bit uh, we use set a bit and clear a bit uh, especially for uh, I have already told you in previous video, special for byte instruction, uh, we use add, uh, complement, or add this type of things. Okay, uh, so let's move. I have this cleared. If you have cleared here, it is also given a byte operation at address ath will affect the entire port zero. Okay, you got it. Okay, you got it. This is an example. Move a comma p zero. Here, uh, the value that is stored in port zero, the entire value of port zero, will get accumulated in accumulator. Okay, 
a beat operation at ATH will affect only P0.0, but a beat operation at ATH, this is a byte operation at ATH, it will affect whole port 0. But it is a beat operation at ATH, it will only affect P0.0. Yeah. Set a beat P0.0. What does this does? Uh, this do uh, the this do the set a bit I means this uh, implement of one at p0.0 okay and that's all i can say okay here we can uh, close the topic this was the short shortest topic i have ever had okay uh, thank you for your uh, concentration you had okay uh, there is a small request please like the video and comment something if you feel good or bad anything uh, it will just help me and boost my confidence okay thank you